I'm Bruce, I own bestdagstuff.com, and today I want to help you make the best dagger hair equipment possible, specifically making an arrow kit so you can produce an arrow just like this. Here are all the parts that I include in the arrow kit. You have this uh, piece of piping, which makes the arrow kit modular, so when your arrow breaks later on, it's easier to replace just the head. Then we have these different, three different layers of foam. This provides the foundation. This is your first layer of dense EVA foam that's going to keep the, uh, the arrow from penetrating. And finally, the arrow tip. Also, I include a cloth cover. We're going to use a white one today. Over here are some other supplies that you're going to need as well. Uh, a pair of scissors to help you cut the tape. Uh, definitely a roll of duct tape you can get anywhere, any hardware store. Uh, and then some spray glue. Today I'm using Clearco 444, which might be hard for you to find, although I do sell it when I'm at events. Uh, you can use 3M Super 77 as a substitute. Over here are some other things which are entirely necessary, but I think, uh, I think help. Um, the aesthetic of your arrow. Uh, one is hockey tape. Um, this will also serve a, a function in putting the arrow you'll see later. Uh, second is some electrical tape that we're going to use to make our arrows stop. Uh, and then finally a couple of sharpies so I can put my own symbol on the arrow so I can distinguish it from other archers on the field. Finally, you're going to need an arrow shaft itself. You can get this online or at a sporting goods store. Um, I like carbon fiber arrows, although uh, a lot of people are using graphite arrows and aluminum are definitely the, uh, the choice for economy. Uh, finally, um, some sort of tape measure so you can measure your draw stop is good too. I'm going to use this steel ruler today. Let's get started. Uh, first off, you're going to take your, your piece of piping and according to the dagger here rules, you have to put a penny on the top of, of your arrow shaft when making an arrow. If I wasn't making this a module arrow and I was just building onto the shaft, I would start with the penny right here. Um, but since we're doing this modular, we're going to put it right there. Before I attach it, however, I want to build up a foundation for that penny to sit on. And I'm going to do that using this duct tape. I'm going to carefully apply the duct tape to the top of the pipe and just start wrapping it around very smoothly and evenly until I've built up a base that's equal to the diameter of this penny. Okay, so now once I've got this built up to the right diameter, go ahead and tear it off. Now, to attach my penny, uh, I'm going to use this hockey tape. Uh, this is available on my, my website. You can get it at sporting goods stores as well. And the reason I'm going to use this instead of duct tape is this piece is going to be glued into this piece of foam in just a moment. And when that happens, I want to have a good surface for the glue to bond with. Duct tape is notorious for not letting anything bond with it, uh, with the back. It sticks to anything, uh, of course, except itself, and that keeps other adhesives from working on the back of it too. So not only am I securing the penny by using the, the cloth tape here, but I'm also making a better glue surface. Okay, so now that I have this set, I'm going to take these pieces outside so that I can uh, spray glue them together. You never want to use spray glue inside because of the fumes. Okay, so now we're outside and we're getting ready to spray glue. Always make sure you shake your can up really, really well. So we're going to start by attaching what I'm going to call our plug now into this piece of, uh, into this piece of foam. So I'm just going to spray a little glue on the sides there and then insert it in until it's nice and flush at the top. Now give it a little squeeze. Next, I'm gonna take this, uh, this Eva foam disc and I'm gonna spray it and this top. And I wanna put this on as centered as possible. All right, that's great. 
And then finally, I'm gonna attach the tip to there. And the great things about this foam is this webbing pattern. It really uh, works great with these open cell foams in particular. It stays all on the surface where you need it. Okay, and again, I wanna put this on as well centered as possible. It's just gonna make it fly a little bit better, the better I can do that. Okay, that's a pretty good job. Squeeze it in, and now I can take these, take this back inside and uh, finish taping it together and put on the cover.